The Gold Coast Suns remain in the hunt for a maiden finals berth following the side's impressive win over St Kilda at Metricon Stadium. Let's take a look at the possible ins and outs by checking in with Gold Coast Suns high performance manager Stephen Swert. Uh, Swerty, let's start with David Swallow. The vice captain was subbed out of Saturday's match with a knee injury, uh, but looks to have recovered pretty well. Yeah, it, uh, David did a pretty good job to get through the game. He obviously came out with a complaint in his knee and uh, and he got through the game pretty well considering. Uh, he, he did get subbed out, as you said, in the, the last few minutes. Uh, but he's recovered pretty well. He's um, he's a lot better than he was post-game and if he continues that improvement, we'll test him later on the week. But yeah, we think he's a pretty good chance to be available this week. We saw Trent McKenzie make a successful return to football last weekend. Uh, could Cade College Asney do the same? Yeah, well, Cade's a quite an elite athlete, uh, and not unlike Trent in a, in a lot of ways. He goes about his footy and his physical capabilities, and he's done all the necessary work in regards to rehabbing his hamstring, and he'll train with the main squad tomorrow, and assuming he gets through that, he'll put his hand up for selection, so we're confident that he'll be right to go. Luke Russell was withdrawn from the 22 with a hip complaint. Uh, what's the update on him? Yeah, well, Luke's had a bit of a problem with hip for a long while, and he's been managing that pretty well, but just got to the stage last week where it was a bit too much for him to play, and we, uh, we decided to give him a week's rest, so... He'll train tomorrow and um, we're pretty confident that he'll be okay this week. He just need a week just to settle things down. And pleasantly for Suns fans, Brendan Matera and Seb Tape both completed successful returns through the knee for last week. Yeah, it was really good for Seb. Uh, he's had a long while off with a hamstring complaint and that's been really frustrating for him. But uh, you've got to give him full credit. His, uh, his uh, focus and his uh, attitude has been absolutely unbelievable in regards to staying upbeat and getting his rehab done. So that was a good reward for him and he showed some good form. So hopefully that continues. He pulled up really well. And, and Brandon, uh, he's been out for not as long as Seb, but uh, it's been a frustrating run for him. So he got back and played in the reserves and uh, he pulled up really well. So um, we'll see how he goes at the selection table. But uh, they've both got through the games well. Thanks for your time, sweetie. Good on you, Sean.